Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to learn to knit a cowl and I have here this extra chunky beautiful yarn that I've got from my knit crate and I decided to make a cowl with it. And I made my own, my own pattern of a cowl because I find that most of the ones that you find they're too large and I don't really like to wear a cowl that just hangs down my neck. I like it to be high up keeping my neck warm so I, um, I did it a bit you know narrow so if you don't know what a cowl is it's just a spiral tube that you knit in a spiral is a tube you could um, knit it as tall as you want and uh, use it around your neck as a scarf but it's a tube like this as you can see so you started the on one side and you keep on knitting in a spiral to the top this uh, wool is vidalana from my knit crate and the colorway is called clementine it's 100 percent wool chunky weight it's got 60 yards per skein 55 meters and for this cow you need 200 grams and the suggested suggested needle size is us 13 to us 15 or 9 to 10 millimeters i don't always stick to the <laughs> i don't always stick to the to the you know to the instructions of the wool so i went down um down a size so i have eight millimeter needles because i wanted the stitches to have to be a bit tighter and obviously you don't want a cow to be lacy especially because of the design that i made because then the wind will just go through so i wanted it a bit tighter that's why i went down a needle size i also have here some um, 12 millimeter I believe they are needles and these needles I'm going to use them just to demonstrate the cast on so I'm going to cast on with these needles but then I'm going to you know show you exactly how to work the lattice on the cowl itself too much rambling anyway you could use uh, drops drops they have a chunky yarn like this um, also Rowan big merino they have a chunky yarn like this and you could use it I will give you information down in the description including a link to a PDF downloadable pattern for this particular cow where you have gauge and everything so if you're particular about the size of your cow then follow the gauge but you know it's a cow is it can be you know it doesn't really matter if it's a bit wider obviously don't make it too tight but if you're using 100% wool like I am you could you could block it out wider like this and then the um, the lattice work will look even nicer won't it now one thing that I forgot to bring and I have to pop out to my <laughs> to my knitting box and bring it is a cable needle I will give you the option without a cable needle but you have to have a lot of experience with knitting in order to to do that the way I knit it is without a cable needle but if you if you want to knit it with a cable needle I'll sh show you how to use the cable needle for this but yeah this is a cable stitch so we're going going to cable to the right and cable to the left and then we're gonna do a um, series of knits and purl stitches now this uh, this this stitch is worked on a multiple of six stitches plus one on each side if you're knitting it in the flat but i'm going to demonstrate in the round so i have a multiple of six stitches here and uh, we're going to start with row number one and the row repeat is 12 rows so you know we're gonna go from 1 to 12 I'm I'm going to show you the cabling I'm not going to show you every single row because some of the rows are the same for example the rows in between the the cables are just four rows of the same stitches so follow the pattern for that but yeah 
let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is cast on. And I'm going to do a demonstration of the cast on that I usually do is the long tail cast on. And I've had requests before um, to do this like specific. So I'm going to do it slowly so everyone understands how to do the provision, the, the uh, long tail cast on. We're going to cast on quite a bit of stitches. So I'm going to leave a long tail. Uh, one thing that you could do is to leave leave a tail and then just go around your needle once two, three four five six seven eight nine ten and then depending how many stitches you want you'll know to um, just fold that like this and then you've got 20 stitches 30 stitches 40 stitches 50 stitches how many however many stitches you are going to um, cast on. So um, leave the tail on your right, leave your working yarn on the left. And what, I, what I'm going to do is hold it like this, twist, reach through and pull up the tail like this. And then if you pull on the tail, you can make it smaller or bigger. That's the, uh, the knot that I do, the twisted knot. Let's, let's try that again. I have here my um, tail and I have here my working yarn. I hold it in between my hand with my finger like this. I twist, reach through with my thumb and my finger and just pull the tail up. And that's the knot. Then I'm going to put this knot on my needle and I'm going to start to cast on. So because I'm a continental knitter, I usually wrap the yarn around my finger like this and I'm gonna hold the tail like that, go under with my thumb, up, pick up this yarn through my working yarn and pull it up and squeeze, squeeze, pull the yarn through. Let's, let's try that again. Oh, yeah, let's try that again without uh, the stitches falling off my needle. So we have here the knot, which will be our first stitch. Um, our working yarn is held by my finger here. I'm going to go with my thumb under, underneath the tail, pull it up like this, go with my right needle under, pick up the working yarn, bring it through and pull on the tail. That's one stitch. So under with my thumb, with my right needle, pick up the working yarn and pull it through. That's two. Again, with the thumb, under with my needle, pick up the yarn, and pull it through. Let's keep going. We have five. We have six. So we need to cast on a multiple of six stitches. So let's just keep going a little bit more, a little bit longer. I believe I have twenty.
Okay, let's see. One more. So we have 30 sti 36 stitches here. Um, obviously for the cow you would have to cast on more but if I do that then you know to go from one one row to the other it would just gonna take long. So now we're going to join in the round and because I don't have many stitches I'm going to have to join in the round using the magic loop method and I need a stitch marker which I don't have so I'm gonna use my um, hair bobble <laughs> well what can we do so this is useful if you if you have a uh, cable needles that are too long and you need to use the magic loop for your cowl uh, if you don't have interchangeable like me then maybe you just have you know um, a set of needles and you have to use the magic loop what we need to do is go halfway and just pull the cable through like this until our needles are aligned with the bumps up, face both bumps facing up. This is the this is the right side, so you can see, but this is the wrong side, and we want to hold it up like this. Just this tail gets tangled up in here. And then what you need to do is um, fold your work like that so the pearl bumps will face each other and align your needles like this. And that's the beginning of the magic loop. And you hold it like that. And I usually hold my yarn like this. The yarn is coming from the back, yeah? You bring it to the front. And then we need a stitch marker. Obviously you, you won't use a bobble like me. You will use a stitch, a proper stitch marker. Or what, what else you can do is just um, put a yarn uh, wrap there. So we're gonna hold it like that. And then in order to start with our first row for the lattice, we're going to pull up the back needle and we're going to start by purling two so I'm going to purl two this is how you purl the yarn is in the front you go in with your right needle then you pick up your yarn and pull through that's a purl stitch so we purl two then we're going to knit two so in order to knit two we go through the front of the stitch yarn in the back Grab your yarn and pull it through. That's a knit stitch. Another knit stitch, go through the front, grab your yarn and pull through. Okay, the next we're going to pull to again. So yarn in the front, go behind with your needle to come through the stitch, grab your yarn and pull through. Yarn in the front, go behind and pull through. That's another knit stitch. So this is this is the repeat for row number one. Purl two, knit two, purl two. So start again. Purl two, one, two, knit two, go through the front. in it too and then through the back with yarn in the front to pull two okay so we've done two repeats now we continue doing that until the end uh, of our of our round so pull two I'm gonna just go faster now knit two Pearl two. And again, pearl two. And we reach to the end of our needle, which means 
we have to squeeze it again. Hang on. You don't want it to be twisted. There we go. Pull through here. I did twist it. Oh, no, we're here. Pull through here. And we did purl two, so now we have to do knit two. And purl two again. Again, purl two. Knit two. Purl two. Again, knit two, uh, purl two, sorry, knit two, and purl two. So we reached the end of our round. Just to make sure your stitches aren't twisted, just to line them back up again like this. So you know you have a uh, the cables on this side and the pearl bumps on the inside. So that was row number one. Then you're going to, to work row number two, three, and four the same way. So knit the knits and pearl the pearls. So if you started with pearl two, knit two, pearl two, you're gonna do the same thing. Pearl two, knit two, pearl two. And then you're gonna get to row number four Five, which I'm going to show you on my um, on my cowl here because I got to to that row and for row number five we're right here as you can see right here row number five on the repeat we're going to start the cabling and for cable you can use a um, a cable needle or you can use a double pointer needle I have here about a double pointer needle or you you just don't use any and I'll show you how to work that as well but to start with I'm going to show you how to work the cables with a cable needle oh there's my stitch okay let's get to the end oh sorry about moving the camera so let's get to the end of my uh, to the beginning of my round so now I'm at the beginning of my round and I just finished with purl two so for for um, for the first cable I'm going to to cable I'm going to move this column of knit stitches to this side so it will be cable to the right so in order to do that we need to um, pass the marker so we know that that's the beginning. And what you want to do is purl wise, slip the two purl stitches on your cable needle like this. And then we're going to put them at the back of our work like that. And I'm going to knit this stitch. Take it off the needle. And then the pattern will say purl two from the cable needle. So I'm going to put the yarn in the front and just pull the two stitches from my cable needle. And I know it looks so complicated, but I promise you it's not. So we just cabled three to the right. Now, to make this uh, column of stitches go left, these ones going left, we're going to pick up purlwise like this, our knit stitch. Just take it off and put it on the cable needle. Now we're going to purl two from the left needle. So just purl two stitches. And then the pattern will say knit the stitch from your cable needle. So we come, we leave that needle to the back and we come to the cable needle and we're just going to knit 
that stitch. So I understand it's very, it's very um, important to have a to have a cable needle if you haven't done cables or if you don't have a lot of experience with the with knitting because it's very easy to drop the stitch. So I'm going to show you how to do the cable again with the cable needle. So this is row number five and it's all cables. You're going to hate this row. When you're done, you're going to be happy you have <laughs> four rows to just plain knits and pearls. So we're going to cable the next three stitches to the right, which means slip two stitches on the cable needle as if to pearl. Put them on the back of your work, like so. Bring your yarn in front of the cable needle, but behind the left needle, and knit one. Then we're going to go to the back needle, the cable needle actually, and we're going to purl two. We just purl two. One, two. We cabled three to the right. Now we're going to cable three to the left, which means we slip the stitch on our cable needle and keep it to the front. We're going to purl two stitches. Then we're going to come back to our cable needle and we're going to knit the stitch that we slipped on the cable needle. And things will be quite tight, I have to say, but just, you know, work with it. All right, so as you can see, our work turns. So these stitches will go that way, these stitches will go that way, and they will make room for the pearl stitches in the middle, which will always be four. Should I show you that again? Let me show you that one more time with a cable needle and then I'll show you without a cable needle. Cable three to the right. Slip two stitches on the cable needle. Put them at the back of the work. Bring the yarn in front of the cable needle and knit one. Then pull the two stitches from the cable needle. One. Now we're going to cable three to the left. So I'm going to slip one stitch, keep it at the front, purl two stitches, one, two, come back to the cable needle Oop. and knit that stitch. All right, now I'm going to show you without the cable needle because that's how I do it. And maybe, you know, you could do it too if um, you just have to pay attention to the stitches. So we're going to cable two, uh, three to the, to the right, which means we usually skip this, uh, place these two on the cable needle on the back. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull on them like that drop them off the needle but you have to be very gentle so leave them at the back and gently knit this stitch they're still there at the back but nearly falling off can you see can you see is nearly um, coming undone and then with your left needle I'm just gonna go through and pick them bo both up bring them back on my left needle and pull them so you have to be careful with this, but I do prefer this than the faffing with the cable needle. Now this is easier. We're going to cable three to the left. So what I do is I just skip it with my thumb, uh, slip it off with my thumb like this and hold it. Can you see I'm holding it oh, or dropping it? So I just hold it. Why isn't it working on camera? So I hold it like this. I'm going to pull two one two then i'm going to come back with my left needle and pick it up and knit it see it's easier i think it's easier and we did the same 
cable to the right, cable to the left. Let me show you that again. So these three stitches, we're going to cable to the right. So I'm going to drop the two pearl stitches at the back, gently knit the stitch in the front, go back and pick up my pearl stitches and pull them. Then I'm going to cable to the left. So I'm going to just slip the first stitch off, purl two, come with the left needle to pick up my slip stitch and knit it. There we go. One more time. <laughs> Drop the two stitches at the back, knit the third stitch go back with my left needle and pick them up and pull them. Then do um, cable to the left, slip that stitch on but hold it with my thumb, pull two, pick it up, and knit it. There we go. So that's cable to the right, cable to the left. Now after you've done round number five, which is all cabling, you're going to work four rows of just knits and purls. So knit the knits and purl the purls for four rows. And then you have to cable again. So that will be row number 11, which will say cable three to the left, cable three to the right. So you're not going to start with right, left, you're going to do left, left, right. So then you will alternate like that. All right. And then you are going to finish with, um, anyway, just follow the pattern. There will be a pattern, but you are going to finish with row three and then um, cast off row three quite loosely you want to cast off quite loosely in the pattern or using the stretchy uh, bind off but yeah that is my lattice cowl and i hope that um, you give it a try and please tag me on instagram or on facebook leave me comments down below because i would love to see what you make this would be nice in um in a white, I think, in like a natural, natural uh, yarn, undyed yarn color, I think would be gorgeous. Uh, but you want to use for the stitch definition, you want to use not very fluffy yarn and not many twists in it. So this one is one ply, as you can see, it's just one ply um, wool. I believe the Rowan one has two plies. I can't remember the big merino, but it's it looks nice with um, with one ply for the stitch definition. Yeah. Please let me know what you think of this, and uh, I will see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>